In this lesson, I want to talk about status codes. So there's a number of status codes that get returned depending on what happens with the website. So a 200 code it means that it's okay, that it's returned successfully. 404 is not found. So you might see these typically. Um, and a 500 is a server error. So usually with your backend server, if it's having some issues rendering the code, you might see something like the 500 error. And errors can be harmful to your site SEO. Uh, so we've got the ability to look in Webmaster Tools for crawl errors. And within the crawl errors, we're gonna be able to see all of these errors if we're missing some pages. And we should always fix these as soon as possible. Avoid broken links, because again, this could throw off when your website's being crawled and it could expose your website to errors. So make sure that you check out all of those broken links and make sure that you don't have broken links within your web page content. So a really good tool to scan through and find out if you've got any broken links and if you've got any no response errors and so on, if you've got, essentially if you've got errors there, if you've got some redirects or blocked URLs, uh, is Screaming Frog SEO Spider Tool. It's free to download, uh, so it's definitely worth checking out screamingfrog.co.uk and um, run this tool on your website to check to see um, if you've got any 400 errors, 500 errors, and so on. So another thing when it comes to errors and error handling is the 404 error. So having an actual custom 404 page whenever the web page isn't found is a great way to improve the user's experience as well as help uh, with alleviate if you're having some missing pages uh, until they can be fixed. So if I go into WordPress and if I just type in a bunch of characters here, we see that we don't actually get this uh, 400 error. We don't we don't get this page that's not being returned. So I'm not sure if they're going to have a redirect. But uh, so we see that they do have a default uh, page file not found. Uh, so we've got some information here, and it's always a good idea to include these types of pages as well as some links to go back to the website or search through the website to find the content that they're looking for. And this is why I say that WordPress always handles this really well because this page doesn't actually exist, but it still keeps us within that frame of the website. It's going to get rid of that. Uh, and we see that they present us with a search box and this is in order to help the user actually find what they're looking for so that they can actually search the site. So that's a well-handled 404 error. 